What's going on guys? This is Aussie Van Man. How y'all doing today? Now, what are we doing today? Well, right now I'm stuck in vicious, vicious Phoenix traffic. Uh, I've been driving for half an hour already. I've barely moved. I'm barely downtown right now. So yeah, we got some rough Friday traffic going on. But we are heading out of state, of course. We are off on our way to Texas, guys. Texas, land of the Buckies. Um, very exciting. There's quite a bit of cloud right now, although it's supposed to clear up by the time uh, we head out there for the eclipse. Uh, so pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't know where I'm gonna be staying tonight. I think I'm gonna try and make it to Roswell, New Mexico tonight. I don't know, we're not gonna be hanging around there. We're literally just trying to get to Texas right now. Um, maybe on the way back, we might stop at Roswell though. Um, you know, I could, there's a quicker way to go where I'm trying to get to, but it involves going through El Paso. And uh, I don't know if I've told you this before, I really don't like driving through El Paso. I don't wanna go down there. So we're gonna try uh, go a different way, I think. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, let's hit the road. All right, guys, so I'm south of uh, Phoenix now, uh, heading down towards Casa Grande. The only problem is we have another, well, we pretty much haven't got out of the traffic. The traffic's been constant bumper to bumper. I've been driving for over an hour, which what should have took me only 30 minutes. So um, yeah, it's really bad traffic today, guys. Um, anyway, we are out of the city at least, that's one thing. I'm gonna have to fuel up when I get down towards Tucson. But yeah, traffic, this is the worst traffic I've had in a long time, guys. You would thought thought it was like school holidays or something, but it's not. All right, guys, I just stopped for fuel. Got myself some KFC. We are driving south, Arizona still. Um, it is really windy, guys. I got out to gas the tr uh, van up and I could barely stand up. It was blowing full force and straight into my face. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy weather, guys. <clears throat> All right, we'll see where we get to in a little bit. It's a bit dark, I know, but uh, we just crossed the New Mexico border. Uh, I, it come up kind of quick on me. I wasn't expecting it uh, right now, but yeah, we just crossed New Mexico border. Let's keep going. All right, guys, it's 2.20 in the morning. I've been driving for, I want to say, 11 hours or something like that with brakes, with uh, fuel brakes and stuff. Oh man, I'm tired guys. And if you can hear that and see the movement, the whole drive here, I've been in a windstorm and I've been blown all over the road. And right now I'm about to try to get a couple of hours sleep. And my van is just rocking back and forth. This truck's going past, I'm, um, I'm about 10 or 12 miles outside of Roswell, New Mexico right now. I'm at a rest stop on the side of the highway. And my van is getting blown all over the place. I don't know how much sleep I'm going to get like this. But we'll try. Oh, okay guys. It's cold and crazy windy. Absolutely crazy windy guys. <clears throat> terrible sleep terrible sleep I actually slept in I should have left by 6 it's now after 7 <sighs> but we gotta get going guys I've got 
seven and a half hours, not even including, not including stops, just to get the Lucan back. So I've wasted my day already. We're not gonna get a full day of um, hanging out at Lucan back, but we're heading for Lucan back, Texas. So let's get out there. Guys, we just entered Roswell. Very interesting. It, not really sure how to explain it. I don't know if I'm in the main center of town, but it definitely, from what I'm seeing right now, it looks like a pretty small town. <clears throat> Very interesting, guys. All right, let's see what else we got. We're not gonna be stopping here today other than for fuel, but uh, we may stop here on the way back. So, it's, uh, I don't know if I'm on the wrong street to see anything, but, um, I'm just driving through, obviously. But yeah, Roswell, not looking as new and updated as, you know, being a tourist town as I thought so far, but I may be on the old main street or something, because everything looks very old down here. <coughs> It's bigger than it initially looked when I drove in. I don't know if there's a newer section. And you know, I know this is a tourist, tourist, touristy town because of the uh, supposed UFO crash back in the day. But I thought I was gonna see a lot more of the touristy stuff sticking out everywhere, like alien stuff, which I definitely have not seen yet. And again. That could be because I'm in the wrong part of town for it. Uh, on the way back, if we have time, I'm actually going to stop and try find all that weird touristy stuff if I can. Oh, okay, I just seen a bookstore um, with a UFO on the sign, so yeah, that's the first UFO related thing I've seen. just crossed the uh, Texas border so we're officially into Texas um, it's been really hazy all day and still hazy I wasn't sure if it was smoke or uh, dust but it, it turns out it, it looks like it's dust guys I don't know if that fire is still burning in Texas but I think it's dust because I just put the uh, vent on and it's definitely smelling dusty so I think it might be dust. quickly we're in some tiny little backwards town here uh brownsfield we're still in the um dust bowl going on it's blowing everywhere this is another little old town that uh 
there's a lot of closed down empty shops here and stuff but i just drove into the center of town it went from asphalt to really really rough um paved like brick roads here uh have a quick look i'll show you i think town hall is right in front of me here i'm not sure actually if that's town hall but it looks like it is yeah, it's right in the center of town. I think that might be Town Hall. Not too sure. But as you can see here, dust everywhere. Can't see much. Very hazy. But look at the uh, paved brick roads. They're actually really, really rough to drive on. They dip up and down. There's sinkholes, tumbleweeds flying all through the roads everywhere. I keep running them over. And still the wind is horrendous and blowing my van around. Anyway, I'm gonna need gas pretty soon and something to eat. I don't think I'm gonna stop here. I think there's another town not too far away. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, all right, let's keep going. There's uh, something about traveling these back road towns that uh, just reminds me of where I come from. Uh, you know, I just, born and raised in a small town and even when we moved out of that small town to the uh, to the seaside we were still in a small town there as a tourist town where I spent majority of my life actually at that town and uh, yeah beautiful beach town but but yeah going back to the beginning where I was born and raised up until the age of 10 is uh, these a small farm country town just like a lot of these small towns that I'm driving through now a lot of businesses come and go a lot of old old buildings but mostly a lot of farms like we see out here and uh, the summers were hot yeah and we'd all go down to local pool every day after school in summer just to cool down Sometimes we'd go out to the local dam, but those, that was full of leeches, so it wasn't always the best choice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, people are like, oh, you drive a lot of hours. Like, that's a lot. I couldn't do that. Some people don't like driving a lot, but I, I used to be a truck driver in Australia, you know, and I used to drive a lot then. Yeah, I get tired, but... Uh, Usually within a few hours I settle into a groove where I'm not tired anymore and um, I just uh, I can I can switch part of my mind off so part of my mind's just switched off the other part of my mind's just got background thoughts I can think and process and then I'm just taking in what's around me and it's always the adventure that really drives me especially going down these back roads that uh, I haven't really done before. You never know what's around the corner, what kind of interesting things you might see. And just today alone, I've seen a lot of interesting things. Um, yeah, I really love traveling. I love driving, just hitting the open road, taking off. It's not always about getting there. Like, um, everyone's like, why don't you fly? It's a long way to go. I like the drive, I like to see what's on the way, and it's not always about the destination, uh, it's about the trip getting to the destination sometimes. Alright guys, so I just stopped for gas at this town, I don't even know what town I'm in to be honest. Some another small little uh, oil and farm town, and I stopped at the Phillips 66, and I had a little Mexican restaurant inside. So I got this uh, enchilada plate here. Um, see how it goes. Mm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. Those beans are delightful. The rice is a little weird. It's like the rice is all broken up and short grain or something. Never had any Spanish rice like this before. It's weird. I don't hate it. 
it's just different than I'm used to. Um, could be a Texas thing, I don't know. Um, enchiladas are chicken with, I guess, cheddar cheese and green sauce on it. Mmm. Definitely good flavor. I don't know about the uh, cheddar cheese, but um, the f chicken and the sauce is spot on. But the uh, beans actually have a lot of flavor. I can tell by the way they're glistening, they got some lard in there. But that's where the flavor comes from. Mm -mm -mm. I was a little skeptical about getting gas station Mexican food. But um, here we are. We'll see if I die today. I'm sure it'll be fine. I just don't know if my insides will handle it, but we'll see. We'll see, guys. It did look good, it tastes good. And we're early enough where it should be hopefully fresh. Mm. All right, I still got like four and a half hours till I get to my destination. I don't think we're gonna end up going into Lukenbach tonight. I think we're gonna stay outside Lukenbach going there tomorrow which that means it's cutting into our time where we go to fredericksburg i was hoping to go to fredericksburg so i don't know we'll see what what we got but by the time i get out there this, this afternoon i probably won't have time to check out looping back so we're going to do that tomorrow more than likely all right i'm going to finish this up i'm going to hit the road guys I just pulled into Fredericksburg um, we're still about 10 miles away from I guess the campsite where Charles is at we're gonna continue there although if I see a store on the way I may stop and get some supplies There's a few things I forgot to get but yeah beautiful town oh my lord this is a beautiful town oh wow lots of cool stuff here uh, maybe we'll be able to check this out tomorrow but all right, we'll keep on going. It's a little bit humid outside. I just got out to go to Dollar General to the uh, to get some uh, groceries, and oh my lord, it's I'm mean, here in Fredericksburg. It's definitely feeling humid, and I don't have AC installed in the back, so I don't know how the next few days are gonna go. Woo! Definitely gonna get that sorted when I get back to Arizona because it's getting warm, guys. All right. Uh, not too much further now. Um, let's get to camp, I'm exhausted.
right, guys, we made it here and I found somebody. What's up? It's Mr. Charles. And this is the, uh, the 1693 distillery we're staying at, which also is a camp post as well. Or har harvest host? Harvest host. Harvest yeah. host, which Mr. Charles is part of, and he managed to slide me in for the night. So, very good. I'm exhausted and tired. So, I think the only thing right to do now is relax and enjoy a few adult beverages. Alright guys, so uh, everybody's retired to their vans, as you can see, pretty tired. I want to say it was about 17, 18 hours driving with uh, gas station brakes and stuff. Um, not including, not including the maybe like four hours sleep or so I got. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty tired and we're going to get up early tomorrow. We're going to go do some exploring tomorrow before we make our way to the final destination. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. Um, I got these wireless lavalier uh, microphones. I've noticed when I do a lot of like far away shots from my um, camera, I can't hear it when I try to turn the sound up. There's too much background noise sort of uh, distorting it if I try to do it that way. And um, when wind picks up, um, my camera, which is standing out in the wind, gets uh, the audio gets all messed up. So I'm hoping I can, I bought these, they weren't too bad. I'd saved my um, Amazon points up, uh, which mostly paid for it um, with Amazon. But yeah, we got um, Holly Lands, the um, M Mark One, I think, or M1. Um, wireless lavalier mics they come with little uh, fuzzy wind breakers as well and then uh, I bought this little cable additionally which you can use this to actually plug it into your uh, iPhone as well so I'm going to try that uh, little setup maybe this weekend if I get a chance to test it out see how we go with that should be good yeah alright I'll learn that i got to edit a video tonight and not going to be doing much, too much else. Um, but yeah, in the morning we'll get up. But uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, it was a pretty... I, I'm not going to lie. I do like to drive. It is peaceful. But with the amount of wind and stuff going on, blowing my van around, I actually really wore, the, wore one of my tires out really bad, steering against the wind the whole time. So actually... Probably put like three months worth of grinding on my tires just trying to push through the wind. It's really bad. I noticed it today. I'm like, oh man. So I don't know. Um, I could feel it while I was driving, just grinding it out. But yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to call it a wrap for tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed this little trip, even though it was a little definitely... Um, testing it was definitely testing on me but uh yeah i did my best <laughs> all right guys we'll see you on the next one what's going on here